I'm Robert Barnes from Spider Machines and today we're going over some preventative or corrective maintenance with automatic t-shirt printing machines. Now, I've done some videos with this before and people have asked me, hey, can you get a little more detail? Well, we're actually installing some Printex Prism 2 machines here in Springfield, Missouri. So we wanted to take a little time and show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this cover and we're going to go over the valves, the inverter, and just kind of explain in detail what those are, how they work, how they function, and then we'll tie all that together on how it communicates with the head and how it functions. So up next I'm going to take this cover off. Okay, so these are AC print heads on the Printex machines. So you have an, a three-phase AC motor. And some of the things that people get confused about is, well, I only have single-phase power, and how can I have a three-phase motor? Well, the motor has three phases, which means it has L1, L2, and L3. Now, an inverter can run on three-phase, but it also can run on single-phase. Now, something that confuses people is, when they think of their home, they have 110. So they plug in, they have one hot and a neutral, and sometimes a ground. So that's only really one leg. With single phase, you have two legs. You have L1 and L2. So what the inverter does is it actually runs on two phases. So if you have single phase power in your building, you typically have 208 or 220 all the way up to 240. But it's L1 and L2 in your electrical box. So what this inverter can do is it can take those two phases and it converts that alternating current to DC, to direct current. And then it takes that direct current and it modulates it, so it, it alters it. So then it actually generates alternating current. So it brings in single phase, two phase, commonly called single phase, brings it into the device, creates DC, direct, direct current, modulates it across three phases, and sends it to the motor. So what this device does, or what it enables a manufacturer to do, is it enables a manufacturer to set the amount of current that's sent to the motor. So if you're running your print head at a very low hertz, rotation of the motor, you're running at a very low hertz, it, we can, can tell this device, hey, I want at this hertz, five hertz, creeping through a print, I want it to have so much power. So the sophistication of an inverter allows us to set the strength of the motor at whatever speed you want the print head to, to travel at. And that's the, the advantage of, of this device. So this can be wired either single phase, two phase, or three phase. So this is the inverter. There's a ribbon. In this case, it's a Printex machine, so very, very little wiring, very easy to maintain. There's a ribbon cable that connects to the splitter board. You also have a ribbon cable that runs down the print head, connecting to the, to the print head uh, control. If you look at these valves here, these two valves control your chopper. So you have squeegee and flood bar. Raising and lowering of the squeegee and flood bar are done with these valves, and you'll see that they have larger hosing. One of the nice things that uh, Printex does is they have colored hosing, so you know that A and B are a specific color. Where if all of the hoses were the exact same color, it makes it a little more difficult when working with a, a double acting cylinder, as an example. These valves control your screen locks, front, rear, uh, your squeegee and flood bar clamps. So they're all valve driven. So there's no toggle clamps on a Printex machine. Everything is push button. One of the advantages to this type of technology is that whenever you start the machine, all of the lock cylinders will automatically lock. A common problem on t-shirt printing machines is you might release the rear screen holder, and when you release the rear screen holder to make a micro adjustment, you forget to clamp the rear screen holder, and you start printing. Well, when you start printing, your, your shirts will be out of registration because the rear screen clamp is not clamped. Printex, this type of technology, as soon as you push start, much like in your car, when you put your car in drive, what happens? All the doors lock. Simple things. So that's what happens here. So you've got these valves, easy to, easy to access. 
If you had a problem with these, simply uh, unscrew two screws, remove the hose, and the valve is in your hand. Quick disconnects everywhere, much easier to maintain than any other brand of equipment that you'll find on the marketplace. Uh, Printex has done a very, very nice job in this section here. Up next, we're going to remove the cover for this motor so you can see how the pulleys work if you need to clean the belts or if a belt was to break and you had to replace it. Okay, so we've removed the cover and what you see here, this is the motor shaft. This is the motor of the AC, AC drive, AC drive motor. Uh, you have the motor pulley, you have the belt, obviously, and it's about a five to one ratio. And this is the jack shaft uh, large drive pulley. And the reason it's called a jack shaft is this shaft spins, which drives this belt. So there's another pulley on the other side of this, which we'll show in, in the next video. So motor pulley, shaft, jack shaft, uh, large, large traverse pulley, basically, between the two. And this is a, a five to one, five to one ratio. Now this belt, to tension it, you have a bolt here, a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt here. So four bolts, and you're able to tension, uh, tension this belt. Simple, remove the cover, and this is on the Printex. Up next, we'll show you the, uh, the motor and the drive pulley. Obviously, this is the AC motor, and this is the pulley, and the jack shaft runs through to the other side with a larger uh, traverse pulley. So here we have the belt. You can see the belt in the picture, which drives the head back and forth. So when people are talking about an AC inverter or an AC print head, uh, we talked about the inverter. This is the motor. Motor has a shaft, shaft goes through, there's a 5 to 1 ratio on the other side of this housing. Jack shaft comes back through to this pulley, and this pulley drives this belt, which drives your print head back and forth. 